my thought process for incorporating the cap concussion protocol and the brain repair protocol was to to basically get a good idea of where our athletes are and to be in a situation where we can get them uh, one only not only getting the baseline but being in a situation where we can help them through any situations that might arise if they were to unfortunately uh, deal with any type of concussion uh, situation. I find that the science behind uh, what CAP is doing is exactly what we are looking for in order to ensure that we're getting uh, the best identifier of where the athlete is and where what things we need to do to get them to where they need to be to get them back involved, whether it's on the ice or on the field or just back into their sport. And what are your thoughts on implementing the concussion prevention training in terms of neck strength training? Well, the neck strength training is a, an essential component, ensuring that we minimize the risk and exposure to concussions. Um, at the end of the day, if we're not doing the necessary things in order to prevent concussions and to minimize the chance of concussions, we're doing our athletes a disservice.